everybody, it's Jamie, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own chandelier room decor. I recently went to Las Vegas with my best friend, and after walking through the Cosmopolitan Hotel's chandelier bar, ooh, let me just say, that thing will make you want to be surrounded by crystal veils all day, air day. So today, get ready to have a fun and affordable way to DIY a chandelier that will, shall we say, light up your life. Let's do it, girl. Okay, here's what you'll need. Scissors, adhesive any kind, invisible string, a paper punch in any shape, and a base for hanging your chandelier. You could use the frame from an unused lampshade, find a wire basket, or modify crafting wire into the shape you think works best. Get creative with whatever you can find. You'll also need chandelier paper, which can be anything from wax paper to tissue paper to cardstock. All right, it's time to be a chandelier cheerleader. <laughs> Does not rhyme. Whatever. Step one. The first step is to prepare your chandelier base. Paint your frame or cover it in fabric to match the color of your chandelier paper. The next step is to punch out shapes from your chandelier paper, whether you're doing butterflies or stars or hearts or dots and so on. I did see on Pinterest that waxed paper chandeliers were pretty popular, so let me show you the proper way to do that. Place down a piece of parchment paper. Then layer on three sheets of waxed paper. Top it off with one more sheet of parchment paper. Iron over the parchment, which will act as a protector for your wax paper as they melt and merge into one thick sheet. Once you've got one thick sheet of wax paper to work with, punch it into your corresponding shapes. Feel free to layer different sheets of chandelier paper before punching them out into shapes in order to simultaneously create material for two different chandeliers. For a cute small chandelier, you only need to punch out about 100 or so shapes. But if you wanted to go all like mega serious, hang this above your dining room table and pretend you bought it at a trendy retail store kind of chandelier, you're gonna need about two to 3,000 shapes. Yeah, Jamie's gonna stick you to the smally chandelier for today. <laughs> oh, and if your hole punch starts getting dull, I hear a good trick is to use it a couple of times on aluminum foil. Once you've got your umpteenth amount of decorations, it's time to attach them together. Depending on the size of your chandelier, lay out a row of anywhere between five to 25 decorations. You'll bisect these pieces with a long strand of invisible string. Make sure to give your string some slack for when you attach the strands later. Then, using any adhesive you like, attach your string to the center of each and every shape. Repeat stringing decorations for as many strands as you need for your chandelier base. I made 18 star strands for one chandelier and 50 circle strands for another. Step 4. All that's left to do is attach your strands to your base. And this can be done a variety of ways. Uh, for example, for a mobile chandelier, meaning a chandelier without a light bulb, I started with a flat wire base. I tied one long strand at the base's center and finished with a group of even shorter strands around the ring's circumference. For this mobile, I also wanted to avoid seeing the tape, so I glued an identical paper shape to each part of my strand. I attached a tissue paper handle for hanging, and my chandelier mobile is complete. This type of chandelier looks great to add some visual height to any room, and is a fun burst of color as it reflects light from your window. Now for a chandelier that uses light bulbs as opposed to natural light, I took my lampshade base, flipped it upside down, and tied a round of strands around the circumference of its lowest tier. Then I tied a round of strands onto its top tier. Connect your chandelier to a hanging light bulb and you're all set. Now remember kids, lights are hot and paper is flammable. But you'll be fine if you only keep your light on for a few hours at a time. Because the last thing you want your friend to tell you is your chandelier was on fire! And you're like, I know! And they're like, no seriously, it's on fire. Yikes. And that's it, chandelamigos. Three cheers for the chandelier. How did your chandelier turn out? Hit me up on any of my social media or just let me know in the comments below. If you liked making a hanging light fixture, click the video on your left to find out how to make an awesomely modern lamp just from pizza boxes. And if making this craft made you realize how boring your lampshades are, click the video on your right to see how to spruce things up with just a little bit of ribbon. We did it, girl. I'm Jamie and you're on girl.com. Thank <laughs> you.